truly hit the big time. Touring the world with the likes of Hot Shell Ray and One Direction and selling over three million copies of their debut album. Michael, Luke, Callum and Ashton got their big break after posting covers on the YouTube. The lads have grown up a little since then, and I mean only a little, and have cracked the lucrative US market, scoring the biggest American debut by an Australian artist, along with a Billboard number one. Their follow-up album, Sounds Good, Feels Good, is about to drop, so let's find out how good it really is. Please welcome five seconds of summer, Michael Luke. So that noise, I mean, uh, pretty much everywhere you go, that's what you've been... Do you remember what silence sounds like? Um, we heard about this question, we thought it was pretty deep. Oh. <laughs> well, s no. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Can you still, know. do you still hear any frequencies at a high level or has your hearing, Actually, hearing just been shot? We have got our ears checked, mine are fine. I, uh, I, had, I had something wrong with my right ear. Yeah, yeah it's like I can't hear high, f like really high frequencies, yeah. which is weird. Be because I can't, I can't tell if it's because of that or whether I was just born wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Blame them, blame them. I think it's at least partially that. Maybe. Yeah. Wait, wait, well, what do you guys reckon? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it's well mixed <laughs> Your new album's called Sounds Good, Feels Good. You all look fantastic. Your hair is on fleek, if I may say so. You too. You too. You too. Thank you so much. I do put a lot of effort into it. But um, this yeah. is not about me, guys. It's about you. How are you feeling? Because it looks exhausting to me, your lives. Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we were backstage and I was having a rest on Luke's shoulder and yeah. uh, I don't know. We're feeling good. It's just, it's great to be back in Australia. Yeah. Um, there's a real sense of, uh, it's just special to us because, I don't know, we come back, we see our families, we see the fans, fans that have been here since the beginning mm. and uh, there's a real sense of pride for us to come back here, so it's special. Mm. And the new album, the pre-orders are uh, flying through the roof. Uh, there, is there one member of the band who's the numbers dude, who would oh. be totally across? We're predicting anywhere from four to ten trillion. <laughs> Well, actually, to be fair, Ashton's only one that school, so by default he's the number. And I have, one. yeah, I don't, well, think, I've, I don't think that's an accurate number, though. Well, the, the statistics. <laughs> so you're the numbers guy. Yeah. Yeah. No, Cal's the numbers guy. The numbers guy. Yeah. He's the numbers guy. He's the auditor that checks the numbers for Mr. <laughs> the accountant. He's the yeah. bass player, so. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome. <laughs> so as you mentioned, it's, it's great for you guys to be home and you're Sydney boys. When you come home, do you get to go home and sleep in your own beds and like have mum's cooking or do well, you have to do the hotel room thing? Well, at the moment we're in hotels because, you know, we have to wake up for morning TV and we live like, you know, an hour and a half, two hours from the city. Yeah. So if we had to get up at five, you know, in the city, we have to get up at like 3 a.m. if we live down. You're the numbers guy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> If the train travels at 60 kilometres an hour... <laughs> I did manage to make it home this time. Oh. Um, yeah, I did. I slept in my bed, I saw my dog. And actually, my parents watch this show every night. Oh. Yeah, every oh. night. Oh. Oh. Right Say hi to Hello, Mum and Dad. <laughs> so, do, you, do your parents do that thing where if, you, if I haven't been home for a while and I get home, my mum thinks I'm just fading away and force feeds me? for two or three days <laughs> while I'm right, home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then I sends see. me off with a food parcel. No, we, we have, the, we have the, uh, the two or three days thing and then they'll be like, okay, I've fed you, I've done my mothering, my fathering, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you just do what you do. It kinda depends what day I come home. If I come home on a Friday night, there's no chance of me getting any cooking mums out the back having a wine. <laughs> It work out for me so good. <laughs> but any other day, any other day, school week, it's day, fine. it's all good. But I like the idea that nothing disrupts wine night for Mark. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I, I we can really, we like her. Oh, we can relate home. to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've achieved so much, seriously, for men as young as you. How old? How old's the oldest? Uh, 21. 21. Oh. What is left in, in the 47? 47. 44. <laughs> When we signed the deal, they told us to lie about our ages. I'm, I'm 27. And Actually, What's your skincare rate right? <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Moisturise. What's yeah. left in the dream bank? What are, what are your dreams now for, for the band? I think it's all about kind of longevity for us, and we want to make good music for as long as we can. And the live show is pretty much the most important thing to yeah. us, I think. Yeah. Just continue making you know great music, you know, the best music we can, and playing the best live show we can for as long as possible. Yeah, mm. until the arthritis sets in. Yeah, I mean, my back's pretty sore at the moment. Yeah, you know, I feel. <laughs> 
Yeah. If the Stones have taught us yeah. anything, arthritis oh. will not slow you down. No. You can <laughs> go forever. Yeah. Can I congratulate you on the Led Zeppelin thing Thanks, there, man. which suggests that you I will like have longevity because yes. that's seriously right. the term. <laughs> Wearing um, Led Zeppelin jackets. Yeah, yeah that's no, it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's all that's required. Yeah. <laughs> now, we put the call out online for the Five Sauce fam to p ask you questions, basically, because mm. they'll ask better questions than we can come up with. <laughs> so, yes. we have some. Chloe uh, has asked, what was the last picture that you took on your phone? I think we'll start with Michael. Oh, oh. Did we, uh, did we enter these? Yes, did, did we send I these in? I think we sent these in. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's... That's, that's, one. Ashton. that's nice. Have we got... Ashton. 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 Yep. Me? There we go. Oh, that, big night, huh? that was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> that was Friday night. <laughs> when I got home, hung out with mum. Jonesy <laughs> asked, guys, if you were a lady, what would your name be? Um, oh, my, we my, discussed this, actually. We have discussed this oh. daily. I think we all discussed it in our, in our post Caitlyn Jenner world now, don't we? We always go, what would be my name? <laughs> yeah. What would yours be? Um, what would yours be? I don't know. Mm. Ashley is a pretty easy one yeah, for you. Yeah, I'd say. I like my okay. I like my Lucy, auntie's name. For me, so weird. Michelle. Michaela. Michelle. Uh, sure. Yeah. I don't have one for you. It's kind of a hard one. Cal, yeah. Cal, Cal. Cal. Maybe I'll just say the same. Kalise. Kalise. There it is. Or <laughs> Kalise. Game of Thrones. We have had. Yeah. Well, I've got a sneaky. <laughs> You've just got a unique. <laughs> <laughs> there was a bit of a campaign that was launched on behalf of a, somebody called Orla, whose birthday it is. A lot of people got in touch with us on Twitter and asked if you would say happy 14th to Orla, would you oh, mind? We were told we didn't have time for that. So. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday! Such a shame. Happy birthday, I'm so sorry. Happy birthday, Orla. <laughs> Happy 14th birthday. Oh, happy 14th birthday. No. Is she here? Oh, okay, she's no. not here. Someone in your audience will pretend they're all pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got, uh, and Felicity has asked, and I'm just reading this out exactly as it is, uh, what do you want your tombstone to say? This is a, we're looking a long way into the future. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. it's, I don't know. Um, um. It's a tough one. Ray. Something like a tough, Ray. Is that your answer? Or? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> tough one. It's a tough that's, one. A, that's a good one. It's yeah. a tough one. It's a really it's tough good one. Life, <laughs> life is life. Such is life. Such is life. Such is life. Um, life goes on. Five sauce was yeah, here. Yeah. Five sauce rules. I'm getting five sauce rules too. So. <laughs> With a Z. The guy's new album, yeah. Sounds Good, Feels Good, is out October 23rd. Would you please thank Five Seconds yeah. of Summer? Yeah. Marathon Goddess is going to be here in the studio with us to tell us more about the motivation behind her goal. Jimmy. Hi, guys. I just met her. Yeah, fantastic. She has some nice titties. 